All right, so you've given us this document about all the ways AI is being used to understand the words we use. Yeah. And this is not like your average spell yeah, check right. kind of situation here. Yeah, it's way beyond that. We're really diving deep into how AI is becoming kind of like a super reader. Yeah. But it's not just recognizing words. It's actually understanding what we mean. Absolutely. On this like whole other level. You know, it's true. It's really incredible. Remember those early translation apps? Oh, yeah. Like the ones that thought I love you? Oh, gosh. That pass the salt? Right. We've come a long way. We've come a long way. It's true. Yeah. And yeah. this document that you shared even mentions AI yeah. generating actual lines of code. That's right. So are we talking about yeah. robots writing the next big app? Not exactly robots, but you're getting at something really important here. Okay. What we're seeing is AI becoming incredibly good yeah. at uh, taking a concept that you explain in words. So like if I wanted to describe like the perfect yeah, exactly. photo editing app, uh -huh. it could actually... It could take that description wow. and translate it into the code. That would actually make it work. Yeah. It's really bridging the gap. It's amazing. Between what we can imagine and what a computer can actually understand and build. Yeah. And it's not just about understanding our words, it's understanding exactly. the intention. The intention behind the okay, words. Behind them. That's right. That's really wild. It is wild. And it's not just limited to building apps or anything like that. Right. This document covers a whole range of okay. AI applications from detecting fake news Got to get this... Too. Analyzing historical documents. Analyzing so can, historical just, documents for historical episode. documents. So how oh, do we go from coding apps to yeah. deciphering ancient texts? Well, and that's what's so yeah. fascinating here, right? Yeah. What might seem like yeah. totally different tasks on the surface. Yeah. Actually share a common thread. But whether it's spotting a fake news story yeah. or figuring out the historical significance of a letter written hundreds of years ago. Right. AI needs to be able to understand understand the nuances of language, okay. the context, even the cultural influences behind the words. So it's not just about like... It's not just about the dictionary definition. The dictionary definition. Wait, of a word. Of a word. It's like the word. It's about the whole journey. That it's word has been on through history and culture. Wow. That's right. So we're talking about AI. And that's what makes this so groundbreaking. Oh, yeah. We're talking about AI that can understand not just what we say, right. but what we actually mean. Wow. And to think we're just getting started because this document mm -hmm. also talks about AI being able to predict how people might react to a speech. That's right. Or even composing music. It's true. The possibilities are pretty much endless. Frozen, yeah. And that brings us to the really big question here. How does all of this impact us in the real world? Okay. I'm going to need a minute to process this. Yeah. We're talking about AI that can not only understand our history and our culture, yeah. but also maybe even predict our future reactions. It's definitely something that sparks the imagination. It's like something out of a movie. It really is. And it makes you realize how much potential these advancements hold. Right. You know, think about it. Okay. If AI can understand how language shapes our perceptions and how we see the world, right. it could revolutionize pretty much everything yeah. from how we educate our kids yeah. to how we market products. Give me an example. Like, sure. How would this actually, how would this play out okay. in like a classroom setting? So imagine a classroom yeah. where each student has a personalized learning experience right. that's tailored to their individual needs. Okay. Their learning style. AI could analyze a student's writing, not just for grammar and spelling, okay. but to understand their strengths, their weaknesses, even their emotional state. It's like having a personal tutor in it's, your computer. Exactly. And it doesn't stop there. Okay. Think about AI-powered research assistants okay. that can sift through mountains of data in seconds, right. pulling out the most relevant information for you. That would be a game changer, especially, especially for students and researchers or really anybody who spends a lot of time researching online. Absolutely. Yeah. No more endless scrolling. Right. No more trying to figure out the right keywords to put in the search bar. Right. AI could handle all of that for you. And because. And here's the thing. OK. Because AI can understand those nuances of language I was talking about. Right. It could actually help us to identify and potentially even mitigate bias okay in a lot of different areas like where so think about things like hiring okay lending okay even legal judgments wow so we're talking about ai that could actually create more fair and just society
Potentially, yes. Wow. Now, of course, okay. it's not a magic bullet, right? Right. And the ethical considerations here are incredibly important. Right. But the potential is definitely there. This is all so fascinating. And I it, I have to admit, like, part of me still struggles to grasp how AI gets... tackle these, like, complex tasks. Yeah. We're talking about machines yeah. that can understand humor. Yeah. Irony, sarcasm, right? Things that even humans sometimes miss. Things that even humans have a hard time with. I know it's incredible. But if you kind of break it down, AI's ability to understand those nuances really comes from its ability to process massive amounts of data. So it's like it's learning to read between the lines. Exactly. By analyzing like millions of conversations and interactions. That's exactly right. Wow. So take the example of AI detecting fake news, right? It's yeah. not just looking for keywords or specific phrases. Right. It's analyzing the writing style, okay. the source, the overall context, yeah. trying to determine how likely it is that this piece of information is actually true. So it's like that friend we all have who can just spot a BS story a mile answer. away. That's a great way to put it. Right. It's about recognizing those subtle cues and inconsistencies okay. that often signal that maybe this information isn't so reliable. Right. And the more data AI processes, the better it becomes at making those judgments. That makes sense. But yeah. what about the more creative side of language? Okay. Because this document also mentions AI writing poetry yes. and even composing music. That's right. Can AI really be creative? That's a question that philosophers have been debating for centuries. I can imagine. But in the context of AI, right? Right. It's less about replicating human creativity yeah. and more about helping AI understand the underlying principles, okay. the patterns well, that yeah. make something aesthetically pleasing or yeah. emotionally resonant. So AI might not feel emotions the way that we do. But it can analyze and replicate exactly. the patterns of language. The patterns of language? That evoke those emotions. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Think of it like AI learning to paint. Okay. It might not experience the world in the same way that a human artist does. Right. But by analyzing thousands and thousands of paintings, okay. it can learn to apply brush strokes, color palettes, composition techniques to create something that is visually appealing. So it's still mimicking. In a way. But on a whole other level. On a much deeper level. It's not just copying. It's like, it's understanding the Let's rules see. of the game. It's understanding the rules of the game. And that's what makes it so... And that's what makes it so fascinating. Fascinating. And potentially even a little bit unnerving. Right, because if, it, if AI can master... If the AI can master the, the art of language. The art of language. What does that mean for us? What does that mean? What does that mean for human expression? Right, what does that mean for the future of human expression? Big question. It's a big question. But it's also important to remember yeah. that AI is a tool. Right. At the end of the day, how we choose to use that tool, right. better or for worse, is up to us. You're right. This technology has the potential to be incredibly beneficial, but it also comes with a responsibility Absolutely. to use it ethically. 100%. And thoughtfully. We can't forget that. But I feel like we've covered so much ground. We have covered a lot. But we still haven't even touched on one of the things I was most intrigued by in this document. Oh, yeah. Which is AI's ability to actually generate different creative text formats. Right. Like how AI can actually write yes. different kinds of creative content. And that's where I think it gets really interesting. Yeah, it does. Okay. So let's talk about AI and creative writing. Okay. Because I have to say, like, that's the part of this whole document that feels the most like sci-fi to me i get it like are we really at the point where yeah. ai can like write a novel or a screenplay well write might be a strong word okay but what we're seeing is that ai can be this incredibly powerful tool okay. for generating different creative text formats okay whether it's like so give me an example a poem in the style of shakespeare okay or wow. a marketing slogan that's really catchy and memorable okay so it's not necessarily about yeah. replacing human creativity but right. it's more like giving us like yeah. a super powered right. writing partner that's a great way to put it okay imagine being able to brainstorm ideas with ai okay getting instant feedback on your writing right. or even having it generate multiple drafts Raw. Based on different prompts or styles. That would be amazing for overcoming writer's block. Absolutely. And think about the possibilities for personalization. Okay. AI could help tailor marketing messages to specific demographics. Right. Or even create customized bedtime stories for kids based on their favorite characters. Okay. This is starting to feel 
less like science fiction yeah. and more like uh, something that could actually exist. It already does. Really? Oh, yeah. There are companies out there that really? are using AI to generate all kinds of content. Like what? Everything from website copy to personalized email campaigns. Wow. And the results are really impressive. So you're saying? In many cases, it's actually becoming difficult wow. to tell the difference between human written content wow. and AI generated content. That's both exciting and a little bit unsettling. It is. It makes you wonder about the future okay. of creative industries for sure. Right. Because if AI can generate content that's indistinguishable exactly. from what a human can create, yeah. what yeah. does that mean? And it's a valid concern, but I think it's important to remember uh, yeah. that even though AI can generate text, right. it's still relying on the data it's been trained on. So it's learning from... And it's learning from us. It's learning from the vast library of human creativity that already exists. So it's not creating something out of nothing. Right. It's more like remixing. Exactly. Reimagining. Taking what we've already done right. and kind of remixing and reimagining it based on existing patterns and styles. Okay, so that's where... And that's where human creativity, human creativity still plays this crucial role. Right. It's about using AI as a tool oh, yeah. to enhance and augment our own abilities. So it's like having a whole team. It really is. It was different co -writer. and co-writers. And perspective. Each with their own unique strengths and perspectives. Put your fingertips. Exactly. And that's really cool. It's powerful. But I think we also have to acknowledge that yeah. there are ethical considerations here. Right. Because if AI can create this content yeah. that's indistinguishable from human-generated content, yeah. How do we make sure that it's being used ethically? Mm -hmm. It's a huge question, right? It's about establishing clear guidelines My. for ethical AI development, for ethical AI use, All right. and ensuring that these technologies are being used for good. Right, and not for... It's not for deception. Deception or manipulation. It sounds like we're entering... It does feel like we're kind of era. entering this new era where the line between uh -huh. human and machine is becoming it's exciting. increasingly blurry. But it's also a little... It's exciting, and it's a little bit daunting at the same time. Daunting. Yeah, but, you know, it's also an incredible opportunity to kind of rethink our relationship with technology yeah. and really explore new frontiers of human potential. Well said. This has been quite a deep dive. This deep dive has been a journey. It really has. I mean, we've gone from... We've gone from AI that can summarize a document... Yeah. ...to AI that could potentially write the next great American novel. Right. Where do we even go from here? Yeah, that's the beauty of yes. it, right? <laughs> There's always more to explore. I guess so. This field is constantly evolving. Yeah. Who knows what incredible breakthroughs Wrong. are right around the corner. But one thing's for sure. I'll never look at a piece of writing the same way again. And that's really the point, isn't it? I think so. It's about opening our minds to these new possibilities right. and thinking critically yeah. and, and creatively about the future we're building. Well, to our listener, we hope you've enjoyed this exploration Thanks into too. the incredible ways that AI is changing how we understand that's right. and interact with language. It's changing everything. And remember, the future isn't something that just happens to us. <laughs> We're a part of it. It's something we create. We are creating it. So stay curious, stay informed. Exactly. And who knows, maybe you'll be the one to unlock the next breakthrough in AI and language. Maybe. You never know. Until next time on The Deep Dive, keep exploring.